Hello, good evening, good morning, whatever time it is, wherever you are. It is January 12th, and I did not come across this um, information, this news story, uh, well, or lack thereof, until yesterday um, regarding the Miami creature incident. And that's what I'm going to refer to it as because nobody knows, nobody nobody can really say, and the official story has a lot of holes in it. So, um, the official story, and I'll start with that, was that there were teenagers inside of a Florida mall fighting with sticks and fireworks. Somebody set off fireworks. And the Florida Police Department wants the public to believe that they sent 75 police cars to stop Floridian teenagers with sticks and fireworks. 75 minimum police cars. Now mind you, in California, I could see that. This is Florida. Florida man, Florida woman, we've all seen the headlines. Only four teenagers were arrested. There is no, there, there is no reason for a 75 minimum police car response to children fighting with sticks. There's just not, fireworks are not, it just, that doesn't make sense. Number two thing that doesn't make sense, children fighting with sticks would not cause a blackout in the area affecting 30,000 homes. That doesn't make sense. And I keep seeing people in the comments of videos that I'm that I found about this incident. And people in the comments are saying it's almost like there are people in the comments who are like planted there to put doubt in people's minds. Because there are there are people who seem like they're like rational and they're like, huh, this story doesn't make sense. And then there's other people who are like Oh, everybody has cameras today. Why don't we have any video of this? Um, if you see in the middle of your mall shopping trip, creatures that are eight to 10 feet tall and clearly not human, you're gonna you're gonna stand there and take a video of it and who's to say because you know whenever there are even just um earthly supernatural things that go on it affects electromagnetic waves it affects you know phone batteries candles will go out like lights will go out it this is it's not a abnormal thing for supernatural things to affect electronic devices is what I'm getting, what I'm getting to. So, it's not unreasonable to think, huh, either these people were completely terrified or even if they wanted to, they wouldn't have been able to use their devices. Number 3. Um there are multiple reports and accounts that the police scanner was off during the response. Well, if the reason that the police scanner was off is the same reason that people did not use their phones, cameras, and videos to take recording of this, that all makes sense. It checks out, in my opinion. And the thing, the thing that is really bothering me about this is that people seem to be more 
speculative on the existence of of extra terrestrial beings especially in in um faith communities and in in christian community i i don't understand i i do i cannot understand how people who literally believe in a creator that they can neither see nor touch do not believe that there are other creatures that could be walking around all the time that we cannot see or touch. When his word speaks about angels and demons, and I'm of the belief personally that these things that people see as aliens are one of the two. They're one of the two. They're either angels or they're demons. I, I don't think that there's a middle ground where spiritual things are concerned. Um, so I don't believe, let me say, that what was in Miami were angels. <laughs> I'm be very clear about that. I don't think that they were angels. There would not be a level of terror <laughs> that was there if they were angels. Anytime angels show up in the Bible and because it's such a phenomenon that human beings don't have the natural capacity to understand if they've never seen it and aren't prepared for that. The first thing they tell those people is do not be afraid. They're coming from the Lord. They don't they don't want you to have a spirit of fear. Do not be afraid. I come bearing good good tidings, good news, etc. and then they say whatever they whatever God sent them to say. Any account that you listen to of that night of people telling what they saw, they were absolutely terrified. And so I'm I'm saying all this to say it's so strange to me to live in a world where people believe the mainstream news about anything a mainstream news that you know lies to you you know that they told you during the big sick that the shots would stop transmission you could save your grandma you could save your family you could do a thing for the community that's what they told you when they were advertising these things to get people to get these into their body and people believed it and when the same news media tells you that all these phenomena are happening at the same time in Miami and 75 police responded to kids fighting with sticks. How are people more speculative about there being unexplained phenomena than they were about the uh, the efficacy of something that they allowed this government to force them to put inside of their bodies. How is this the reality that we're living in right now? Like I, I can't, I have been understanding why people are referred to as sheep because Honestly, isn't it, isn't it, it's very uncomfortable to face an unexplainable truth. It's, un, it's uncomfortable. You, you, it's easier to accept that, oh, you know, police were just breaking up a riot between kids fighting than there were demons that physically manifested in Miami. Because one, you can just go back to sleep or you can go to sleep that night. You won't have any problems. But the other, you might pray. You might seek God for yourself. You might go to church. You might open your Bible. You might actually make some decisions to change <laughs> what you're doing in your life based off of unexplained truth, unexplained phenomena. So that's all that I had to say about that. Um, I hope that more information, more information that makes sense because 
that story doesn't it doesn't i refuse to believe that there's just there's just no way so y'all uh y'all be blessed god bless y'all please 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 understand the necessity and power of prayer and the necessity and power of intimacy and the necessity and power of really knowing the lord for yourself not your grandma's relationship with the Lord, not your mama's relationship with the Lord, not the church that you go to on Christmas, Christmas, Mother's Day and Easter, but an actual relationship with the Heavenly Father yourself. Because it's only January. <laughs>